Hello Royalty, good morning and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this channel. Once again, like we used to do it, we pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns raised and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions that have lingered over the years in our hearts and sometimes seem to have defied answers have been tackled. I have no doubt that your own questions have been taken care of in this platform. The only thing you will do for yourself and for us is to follow us on our Facebook page and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, listen to the clips that we uploaded in those platforms, over 300 of them. Before you finish going through them, you will discover how much the Lord has dealt with those questions and burdens on your heart. Also, I encourage you to remember to share your testimonies as the Lord is answering or taking care of your questions, as well as remember to share these messages to people or this platform. Let people come, become aware of it and embrace it. The Lord is still moving stones. Shall we pray? My Father, my God, I thank you for today. I thank you for yesterday. I thank you for what you are yet to do in the lives of your children. Glorify yourself once again. Teach us, O Lord, endure us with knowledge and understanding into your word. Thank you because you are a faithful God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, we'll be talking about against. We stopped and yet and we we're talking about the question, how can I be for someone and also hate a sinful way? And I want to read us um so one of these uh, summary again. It said, if a neighbor's sin is frustrating us and we choose not to talk it over with them directly, we are not acting in love. Not only we we leave them trapped in their pattern of sin, but we may open the door to sins of our own bitterness, grudge, holding, and revenge seeking. Gentle, honestly, is a a wise expression of love. All right. In 2 Timothy 2, verse 25, gently instruct those who oppose the truth. Perhaps God will change those people's hearts and they will learn the truth. In Titus 1, verse 9, he must love a strong, he must have a strong belief in the trustworthy message he was taught. Then he will be able to encourage others with wholesome teaching and show those who oppose it where they are wrong. We are to encourage others with gentle, right teaching. That is what the Bible is letting us know. Now you see in James chapter 5 verse 19 to 20, it said, My dear brothers and sisters, if someone among you wanders away from the truth and is brought back, you can be sure that whoever brings the sinner back from wandering will save that person from death and bring about the forgiveness of many sins. In other words, our love for the sinner should be what most compels us to confront the sin. So, when I am against something or someone, how do I know my convictions are right? This is a question. The next question will be dealing on how do I know I am my convictions are right when I want to confront somebody, uh, uh, you know, is the sinner when I'm against something or someone. How do I know my convictions are right? We'll be talking about this the next time we meet. All right, so I want us to quickly pray with the things that we have had so far that our love for the sinner should be what most compares us to confront the sin. 
Are you in a category where you have neglected the sinner thinking that they should die instead? I want us to repent this morning. Why not pray this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on my soul. Save me from eternal death. I don't want to die without knowing you. Breathe upon me the breath of life. Wash me by your blood. Give me a fresh start and a new beginning. Write my name in the book of life. Delete it from the book of death. Satan, withdraw your feeding hands from my life. You did not make me. Neither can you keep me. My life belongs to Jesus and to him I have returned. Thank you, Father. I am born again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are praying this prayer with me this morning. Congratulations. I want to encourage you to keep fixing your gaze on this perfect law of liberty that sets men free. And I know in no distant time you will see how much the Lord has done and in your life my listeners all over the world god continue to bless you god will also honor you and i pray that before you make a call you have received answers in the name of jesus the doors of heavens the uh, are open unto you you will never labor in vain and i pray you will not sweat before you eat the lord will give you sweet labor to the glory of his name in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a pleasant days ahead of you. God bless you.